Hey guys, welcome to the Poker Investor. Anthony here with my sidekick, Puppy Vans. Say hi, Bandit. Come on, bro. Don't take your hand away from me. Look at those fluffy ears. Look at those fluffy ears. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> he's so enthusiastic about this video. <laughs> so, uh, today, I'll be talking about the three roles I'll be taking on as this channel progresses. Um, I'm going to be treating this channel somewhat as a case study. So, anything I go through, I'm going to record it. The pros I see, the cons, the struggles I have, benefits, anything. And I'm going to record it for three, these three different roles. The first one and my... The most important one to me is as an investor. My second one as a collector. The third one as an enthusiast. Um, now, just quick background about me. My knowledge of Pokemon isn't the most extensive. Um, after the second generation, I stopped watching the TV show, stopped collecting cards. And beyond that, I played the games up until about Diamond or Pearl. Um... So I'm not this huge Pokemon fanboy. I'm not going to be able... I'm not coming in with a lot more knowledge than general people, you know? Like, I'm sure everyone who was born in the 90s knows the first generation or first two generations, at least. So um, this is going to make it easier for anyone who's looking to get into the game to follow my footsteps. Anyone who's looking to make money off the game, anyone who's looking to collect now and start now... It's not too late, you know. Things like this, they, they don't stop growing. growing. So, or I shouldn't say they don't stop growing. They might hit a peak, but it's not just going to disappear. Pokemon's not going to disappear. The 20th anniversary just passed, you know. Look at something like Magic the Gathering. That's, what, 30 years now? So, that's not something you have to worry about. It's, it's not too late to start. So, um, I do have extensive knowledge in investing uh, and collecting, just not with Pokemon. I do invest outside of this. Um, I have a few different investments I do. I did collect Yu-Gi-Oh! for, who knows, like, up until, like, age 19 or something, 18. So, uh, I do have knowledge on, in that background, but when it comes to Pokemon, as you're gonna see in my many new videos, I won't even be able to say their names. So, <laughs> it's not a huge, it's not a huge deal. Um, another thing I just wanted to share real quick, got new, uh, Elite Trainer Boxes that I'll be opening this week. I got Burning Shadows, I'm excited about this one, and Guardian Risings. Pick both of these up tomorrow, I'll be doing some box openings, giving away some trainer cards, so, uh, just make sure to subscribe, leave comments if you want the cards, I'll email them to you, or DM you, whatever. So, yeah, I'm excited about these. Um, check out my other videos if you want to laugh at me pronouncing Pokemon names. Check out video number two especially. And uh, let's get into this. Alright, so my role as an investor. Um, this is my primary role. This is why um this is what got me into the case study. There is money to be made in Pokemon. That might be an understatement. There's a lot of money to be made in Pokemon. Now, I'm not saying it's easy. You're not just going to buy a card and become a millionaire. But it shouldn't be that hard. Huh? <laughs> But um, whether it's long term, such as holding sealed product and selling that off later on when it becomes scarce or rare, or short term where you get a card that's in meta or in play and you sell it, there is money to be made. So that's going to be my main focus and my first priority. My role as a collector. Can you guess what I'll be doing in this role? 
Let me help you out. I'll be collecting. <laughs> so, um, to a point, collecting is human nature. I'm not talking about hoarding now, but collecting is human nature. Everyone has done it. Friends, family, grandparents. I bet they collected stamps or some crap. But um, everyone has collected something. If it brings you pleasure, joy, stress relief, relaxation, a community, friends, whatever, whatever the reason, people collect things. So examples of this, Pokemon cards, muscle cars, um, Beanie Babies, stamps, passports. What's that thing that alcoholics drink? Shot glasses. Uh, everyone collects something or has at one point and they they sell like crazy because once you're a collector you're you're in it you know you you want it all so i'll be as as a collector i'll be just obviously collecting things but i will be gathering certain sets um species artwork anything to do with arcanine because that's my favorite guy but um That'll be my role as a collector, and I'll you'll be following my journey on how hard it is to find certain things, how much it is, what's the pros and cons. Last but not least, I'll be discussing the enthusiast. Hopefully you guys are still with me and you're not sleeping like Bandit. Um, <laughs> but the enthusiast, or I guess you could say the enthusiast slash player, um, this is the broadest spectrum i guess out of both of them collecting and investing are both i mean I, I didn't even really need to explain it but the enthusiast that's a lot broader it's also going to be a lot shorter segments probably um this is just when like sets come out what what the direction of the company and pokemon are going so when a new set comes out what's going to be the big singles how hard is it to get those singles um How's the TCG looking? How's like the trading guard card game going? What's what's the company doing? What's their next steps? What's happening over in Japan? You know, looking a little bit into the future before it comes to America. Um, that's going to be mostly about the enthusiast. Um, are they adding new things for new players? Are is it getting too crowded? To you know, it's just it's just going to be very broad, but. If I mean, if you're an enthusiast, you're probably already collecting or playing or something. So that'll be a lot easier of a segment. So these are the three roles I'll be following in my case study. Investing, collecting, and enthusiasm. Let me know which one is your favorite and which one you look more most forward to learning about. And I'll be I'll try and provide more of those videos. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure to su subscribe. Subscribe to the Pokey Investor. Um, me and Bandit, he's he's out. We say goodbye, and uh, I'll be opening these bad boys later on this week. See you guys soon. Have a great day. Enjoy.